At this very moment in Hartford, a dinner is raising over a million dollars for the Bruce Edwards Foundation, which funds ALS research and therapy. ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, has a 100% fatality rate. It's a neuromuscular disease that cruelly ravages the body while keeping the mind intact. This year, the Hospital for Special Care in New Britain, which treats ALS patients here in Connecticut, is the primary beneficiary of funds raised at the Travelers Championship. And in a rather remarkable way, it's a 63-year-old Travelers executive, Jay Fishman, that is the inspiration behind the tournament's ALS awareness, all the while living with the disease himself. I opened up my comments thanking the Lord for getting me to, to today, and I, I do feel that way. The disease is so unpredictable, you just, you just don't know. Jay Fishman was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis two years ago at the age of 61. He has since witnessed his physical capabilities diminish by the day, increasingly so in the last nine months. I was still walking some. I, I had the ability to breathe most of the day without assistance. Um, I no longer do. I've, I've taken my, my respirator off to conduct this interview, but I'm, I'm hooked up to a non-invasive ventilator eh, 20 hours a day, 21 hours a day. My arms have become quite challenging, hands, so simple stuff that we all take for granted. Uh, you know, eating a sandwich uh, is now an adventure. Fishman understands his limitations, but a man with his professional resume, a giant in the insurance industry, is simply not inclined to accept inactivity. Carry on, as the Red Ribbons say, or as Fishman is fond of saying, lean in, stay engaged, or stay in bed. Everybody would understand that you say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm staying home now, I'm, I'm, I'm resting. I, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I'm not engaged with anybody, I'm just by myself. And that's not how I, I want to live this time. And the only way that I knew how to deal with it was to lean into it, to anticipate and to plan. And I've done all the planning I think one can do to make the most of however, how much time I'm given. Travelers made the decision to convert a suite along the 18th hole of the TPC to an area where hospital for special care ALS patients and their families could come to watch the tournament, to see that their nutritional needs were met, and to spend time with Fishman himself. My plan is to be there for part of every day to shake other people's hands and, and tell them I understand what they're going through. It, it takes a patient to understand how much a caregiver gives. In isolated situations, you can think that this is such a rare disease. You can think that, you, that, that, that as patients, we're forgotten, that, that no one knows about us. Well, it's, it's a little less rare than most people think. The occurrence rate of ALS is about 75% of the occurrence rate of MS. So it occurs, I think, more frequently than people think. The challenge is, is that the fatality rate with ALS is 100%. And so we pass relatively quickly, so the population of patients never really grows. We have a real effort here with social media this week through the ALS Connected Channels to make sure that the community, the ALS community knows that they're not forgotten. There's lots of people who, who are committed and are gonna carry on doing good work and trying to make sure that we find ways to deal with the disease. And I can't do that sitting inside a suite. I can only do that being outside and visible, and that's what I intend to do. The HSC is the only MDA ALS certified ALS clinic in Connecticut. It serves 250 patients, and that means families and caregivers and people who help take care of you. And, and it's a first-rate place. It needs financial support. We're here to help them give a better life to the patients they care for. More good things have happened than any person deserves. And, and, I, and so I simply took it, even from almost that very first day, with, with, with a certain amount of grace. I quickly came to the conclusion that this may be how my life comes to an end, but it wasn't going to define what my life was, or even for that matter, what my life is. I'm honest, from the bottom of my heart, I tell you, I'm grateful to be here. I found Jay Fishman to be a remarkable man. That picture you saw at the end of the piece was 
Just a few days ago, when Bubba Watson, the defending champ here at the Travelers, made a personal donation of $100,000 to support ALS research and therapy through the Bruce Edwards Foundation. Now, this year, Jay is one of the honorary uh, chair people of the uh, tournament, along with a um, young person, a 40-year-old Brian Savo, uh, an ALS patient from the Hospital for Special Care, a lifelong athlete and a hockey coach. One of the initiatives that Jay Fishman supports, and if you want to get some more information, it is Answer ALS. It can be found on the web at answerals.org.